give them examples, give them evidence of how you've earned it and they'll just, they won't be able to say no. Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about money, specifically my software engineering salary in the UK. I'm going to share my experiences that have led up to me earning this income, the juicy bit, the actual income, what I earn, and then also tips on how we can strive for more salary. So in the UK, there's a big push for going to universities, so that's exactly what I did. I went to a three year course for computer science in a university in England. And then in my final year of university, I was applying for jobs, specifically the software engineering route. And I earned a grad scheme. They're quite popular in the UK. It's just big companies just taking on the recent graduates and throwing them into a program, train them up and then chuck them in a job. That's exactly what I did. Got about two months of training and then you get chucked straight into a software engineering team, which is kind of cool because you're just thrown straight in the deep end and just learn on the job. And when training is done, you become a software engineer level one. Well, that's how it works in my company anyway. I work for a big corporate company. It's not fan or anything like that. It's just a standard big company. <laughs> Been at this company now for over two and a half years. Uh, first year of that, I did a lot of back endy stuff just to get ease my in, ease my way into the company. And then I had a six month secondment doing front end. I absolutely loved that. That was cut short because it was the end of the project. And they didn't want to do anything else. So I joined my back end team back after that. And then spent about eight months back with the back end team. And then I was really trying to get a front end role because that's what I really enjoy. And then the past two months, I've got a front end role in the same company. So currently I am a front end software engineer level two. In, in my company, uh, you probably can apply it to many companies. There are uh, four levels of software engineers, one, two, three, four, and then the senior and the principal and then tech lead, stuff like that. I'm currently a two and I'm striving for level three. Okay, now the juicy part, my actual income. So straight out of uni, when I joined as a level one, I was earning 32,000. I'll put the US uh, dollars up, to the, up there. And you're probably thinking, wow, that's not a lot. But here in the UK, that's probably the standard. I was quite chuffed at the time. Straight out of uni, that was quite a lot of money. Over here in the UK, you don't get the same crazy salaries, starting salaries of 100k plus in the US, it's crazy. So now I've been there for about two and a half years and I went from a software one to a level two, earning in the range between 35 and 40. So again, I'll put the US conversion on screen and again, you might be thinking that's super low. And I sort of agree with you. I was really trying to get more from when I did get promoted and when I do go for Level three, I will really try and push for more. I just feel here in the UK, if you're not part of the big techs or if you're not senior, I think the salary is just very average. I still believe like software engineering in general is just higher than the average UK salary, for sure. But compared to other companies and compared to other industries, I feel as if my particular company is relatively low but there's no layoffs in my company which is class so obviously you've got job security all of that which is really good and last thing i want to talk about just briefly i'm going to give you two things the second one's better but first thing of how we can all improve um, in terms of pushing for that higher salary what we can do so the first thing is obviously push for that promotion every opportunity i'm a level two right now and i'm really trying to push for level three that's obviously where you're going to see the bumps. And then when you do jump, negotiate. Look at the market average. Prove to them that you deserve this. Don't ever let them question, or oh, is he worth it? Give them examples, give them evidence of how you've earned it. And they will just they won't be able to say no. So that's exactly what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to build up evidence, trying to work, push myself, to really try and push for level three. So then... When I do get it, I can negotiate and I can get a big salary. <laughs> and then the obvious one, and I have, I'm yet to do it, but I have a couple of friends who have left my company have done it and it's really paid out for them. It's obviously Job Jump, I think that's the name of it. It's like you do two years at a company and then you've got your experience there and then you jump to another company. 
and that's where the pay bumps in. Say now every year here, I get about a 3% increase every single year. That's less than inflation, so I'm basically earning less than I was the last year. But when you do a company jump, you could be getting 10%, 15%, even like 20% sometimes. And what made it click for me is like, say now I'm a software engineer two in my company, my level, my experience could be a three in another company. So of course they're gonna offer you a three and a higher pay salary over there. So I think that's my plan as well. Get get the three in the current company and then get the solid foundation and then bam, jump. And that's where you get the bump. But yeah, that's everything from me guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was nice, short and sweet. Didn't wanna drag it out. And see you guys in the next video.